Baton Rouge and Tiger Stadium, the site for this college football battle. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got to talk about some NCAA football 2005. Last time I was here, we talked about NCAA 2004, and that game to me was the stepping stone for the greatness of NCAA football on the PS2. Now, I feel like this game right here gets overshadowed. You have Madden 05 with the hit stick. ESPN for 2K5, which might be the greatest football game ever made. You also had MVP Baseball 05 and NBA Live 05 come out later on in the year. So I feel like this game got gets a little bit overshadowed. And one thing that people didn't realize in this game is that they added some great gameplay features. I'm talking about some fantastic ones that we're going to talk about. Now, they also had their version of the hit stick in NCAA 05. And that was with the big hit button, if you will. If you hit L2 or the left trigger, you can get a big hit. Of course, you can get a big hit or you can miss the running back all, all together. And it wasn't as cheesy as Madden 05's hit stick, but it also wasn't as effective. It was a lot easier to pull off the hit stick in Madden. Another thing that they added was the ability to use the slant hot route. You could not do that in NCAA 04. I believe you could do it in Madden 04. Another thing that you could do in Madden 04 that you couldn't do in NCAA 04 was the ability to just switch your running play from left to right. Back in the day, you would have to audible your whole play. It would give it away to the defense. They would just slide to one side or the other. The playmaker control in Madden 05 fixed that. A Madden 04, excuse me. It fixed that. But in NCAA 04, they did not have that, but they did add it in NCAA 05. This right here is a hidden gem. You are able to select your audible plays from the play call screen during the game, which made audibling a lot easier, and it was able just to do it quickly. Because if you're like me, I like to just jump in and play the game. I'm not going to spend too many times in audible menus and stuff like that. So it's a way to cut down on the time. Now, one thing that they added in NCAA 04 was the ability to have these big old celebrations. These big old celebrations, right? But they didn't just stop there. In NCAA 05, you didn't just celebrate when you got into the end zone. You could celebrate a sack. Now, if you clicked L2 plus square, your player would do a celebration. You would do L, uh, L2 and then circle. The crowd would do a celebration. And then if you do L2 and triangle, then your mascot would do a celebration as well. And it could be first downs, touchdowns, or sacks. Now, if you went R2 in a player, your player would go freaking crazy, bro. Your player would act like he just won the Super Bowl. He is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Everybody needs to follow him on the gram. And yeah, and he, and he will cost your team 15 yards. So... There was a give and take. So that was on the field stuff. And we're not done with on the field stuff. But I do want to get in some of the other features that this game had. They did add create a playbook. Which I like because I like the customized playbook. I don't like to go too heavy option. Too heavy run plays. Too heavy shotgun. I like to mix it up. So what you can do is you will pick a preset playbook out of Alabama, Auburn, LSU, and then you could then you can take one of, you can really take all the formations out. You can have a totally customized formation playbook, formation package, but what I would do is I would take a playbook that I already like and just add one or two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five formations that I really, really like, and you could do that here in NCAA 05. Another thing that you can do is create a sign. Now, they had a generic sign which will pop up during whatever happened they might go to the crowd and this sign will pop up you can customize it 100 percent change the colors you could change what it says and so on and forth so forth they also had specific signs for a passing touchdown a rushing touchdown big gains and so on and so forth where they missed it though they missed it when it came to rivalries there should be a creative sign feature for when you played your rival, Florida, Florida State, Miami, Florida State, Michigan, Ohio State, Cal, Stanford, you know, Texas, OU. There should be, there should have been something like that, and they really missed it. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Like Scam Newton, I mean, dang it. I mean, you could, like, seriously, players used to get suspended in NCAA 04, 05, and 06. It would have been dope if you saw that somebody from Alabama got suspended and you're an Auburn fan and you got. Yeah, you, you know I'm going with it. Another thing that they added was the ability to have one double-A rosters. You could edit the rosters. So that was a cool feature that you could also fool around with. And they had 
historic rosters. So one of the biggest names in college football, of course, was Bo Jackson. He is on the 85 Auburn team. You go over to halfbacks, boom, he's right there, 34 overall. I mean, 34, number 34, 99 overall. You could give him his name and so on and so forth. They brought back the college classics, but one problem, it was the exact same as it was in NCAA 04. Now, some people would have an issue with that. I kind of did, kind of didn't. You did get upgraded gameplay, upgraded player uh, animations and stuff like that. So experiencing it in NCAA 05 wasn't a bad thing, but it was the exact same thing that you had in NCAA 04. Dynasty mode, for the most part, was the same thing that you had in NCAA 04. The one thing that they did change, which was well, the biggest feature that this game had, was toughest place to play or home field advantage. The number one toughest place to play was the Swamp. That's right, in Gainesville, Florida, home of the Gators. Now, this would change throughout your dynasty. If you were a school that maybe wasn't that popular, maybe not considered to be a football school, if you built them into a football school, then you could see your campus or your stadium to be up here in the top 25 toughest place places to play. Now, this was just not something that was cosmetic. This was just not something that was, hey, look at your school. It's in the top 25 toughest places to play. No, this actually had a huge effect, a huge effect on how your game or how your team would play and how your opposing team would play. Now, right off the bat, you're going to notice that the NCAA 04 entrance to the game was kind of the same as NCAA 05, except for in NCAA 05, you would see something a little bit different. When Alabama comes out of the tunnel, okay, they're playing in Death Valley. And this is not Nick Saban's, okay, Alabama team. This Alabama team ain't ranked, okay? Like, please believe this ain't the same team. Number 70 has his head down. You look at the tight end in the middle, number 87, he's looking around like, man, oh man, I made some poor life decisions in my life. Why am I here? What am I doing here? And that is the biggest feature that this game had that I feel like some people forget about. It was the home field advantage. Your controller would shake. The camera would shake. And I know what you're thinking. That's all cosmetic. And yes, it is all cosmetic in the newer NCAAs, especially on the 360. But here, it had a real effect on how you played the game. So you're trying to audible in this hostile environment. 100,000 people screaming at you saying you suck, you smell bad. Well, now your receiver can't get the call. So you would have to audible not once, but twice. You would have to audible twice. And you audible bullying twice does not guarantee that he got the call. So you drop back the pass and you and, you and your receiver are not on the same page. And it is just all bad. Another thing that it did was the NCAA games on the PS2, they only gave you a 25 second play clock. So you have to call your play in the huddle, get to the line of scrimmage, read the defense, then audible twice. That's going to lead to a lot of delayed games and to a lot of timeouts being called. And that's something that is simulation football because we all see it. You, you get a young quarterback on the center, he don't know what he's doing. There's going to be a lot of timeouts called, a lot of people not on the same page. Now, when you're in a hostile environment, you can't say hike from the shotgun formation. You got to give your center a single. Look at the quarterback lift up his foot. When his foot comes back to the ground, that's when the center will snap the ball after about a second or two. In today's football, you will see guys clap their hands and do other things of that nature. That's something that Madden has not had because some stadiums in, in, in the NFL are raucous and crazy. Seattle Stadium. Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, right? The Raiders, for the most part, when the crowd is packed, the Raiders are hard to play in. Uh, Philadelphia, you know, there are some stadiums that are harder to play in than others, and I feel like Madden has never been able to replicate that. Now, we're looking at the depth chart. You will see that Jamarcus Russell, number four, his composure is at a one little red square underneath his avatar. His, his little circle thing is completely blank completely bare he's an 80 overall red shirt freshman so you want to try to keep him happy one of the best recruits come out of high school but you have this you, you have this senior quarterback who's 85 overall but when you look at the awareness clearly his overall is boosted by the fact that his awareness is at 78 overall so maybe Jamarcus is the better quarterback right so we go and we look at the passing attributes right Jamarcus has a stronger arm their accuracy is still kind of similar but you could say that Jamarcus is probably the better quarterback when you're going to be using him in game 
However, like I said earlier, players' ratings will get adjusted. So we're playing Alabama right here. Number 12 dropping back throws an absolute strike. And that's going to go for a touchdown. Now his attributes are going to change because he's playing good. He's playing good. And now his overall went from 85 plus 3 to 88. Well, what happened to the receiver? Did the receiver go up or did the receiver go down? The receiver went from 91 overall now to 95 overall. Now, we're going to look at what happened to the receiver. Why is his overall up higher? Well, when we scroll to the right, you are going to see that he got a plus 5 in awareness, which made him a 94 overall or 95 overall receiver. We look at the quarterback. Is it his awareness? Well, no, it's not his awareness. It is going to go to his throw accuracy. So you had to make a decision because y'all know in dynasty mode, you get those young quarterbacks, they quick to transfer, you don't play them. So you got to make a decision about Jamarcus because his composure, when you go to Alabama, maybe not at home, but on the road, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Auburn, I mean, you got to make a business decision if you want that freshman quarterback in that hostile environment. So to me... Instantly 05 is one of the more underrated games I think out there, but it's one of the best games out there if you can get your hands on it. Instantly 06 to me is the best on the PS2, but what Instantly 04 and Instantly 05 did is why Instantly 06 to me is so great. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'm gone. Peace, love, hot sauce.